It's day four in Lakeland at Sun and Fun. The longer I fly, the better I understand the famous quote of EAA founder Paul Pogorezny, who famously said, you come for the airplanes, but you stay for the people. We all love airplanes, but the lifelong friendships which are created between pilots is something I really don't want to miss, and a great place where you can meet your friends or make new ones during or after the day at Sun and Fun is Coconut Flyers. Let's hear from Tim Kirby, the man who runs Coconut Flyers, about their mission and about how it all started. So I'm here with Tim Kirby at Coconut Flyers. Coconut Flyers is the place that we all love in the evening after the air show. Uh, because it's the one place on the field that's open late and anyone who's here for a fun time gathers here and has a good time. And uh, Tim, first of all, thank you for running this place, but tell us how this started. What, what were you trying to do here? When did it start and what um, keeps you going? Well, many years ago, we would come here to see the show, much like anybody else. We would camp in the Antique and Classic section. Uh, the president of Sun and Fun, John Leanouts, his call sign is Lights. He was in the uh, Navy, uh, F-18 pilot. He would camp in one little area, and we would camp in another little small area, and we would have, you know, we would make little small pictures of margaritas and just hang out, you know. Right. And so then, when Lights became president of Sun and Fun, he said, you know, one of the things about Sun and Fun that he really didn't like, and that we always fought, was after the air show, the place kind of seemed to die. Right. So we wanted. He said, I want some place where pilots and families can go and congregate and have the commonality of common interest and some place where they can tell their stories and have a place that they can all go, feel welcome, and just kind of chill. So um, I started Coconut Flyers as a maintenance facility, which it still is. We restore and maintain antique and classic airplanes, predominantly the Stearmans, Cubs, things of that nature, older airplanes. And when we come here, Coconut Flyers becomes, in light's terms, the ambassador for vintage, antique, and classic. And you're placed in the right area. Well, well, part of the deal was when Lights offered us the opportunity to come over uh, here. He said, I'll give you a prime piece of real estate. And he did. He gave us this. We've got an entire corner. So with that in mind, we moved from across the street, so to speak, and we have our own little encampment. <laughs> Coconut Flyers has been, and still is today, based on volunteer work and on donations. The excess donations directly benefit the Aerospace Center for Excellence, who received $15,000 from this year's event. I asked him to talk a little bit about the people who helped run this place. When we started, we had four, maybe five people, and I won't name them, and the reason I won't name them is because I'm sure to leave somebody out, so rather than name them and forget them, it's just easy. We had four or five uh, coconut flyers. Uh, Dunedin Brewery was a huge supporter okay, yeah, out of uh, so Dunedin, which is just east right, of Clearwater. <laughs> the owner, Michael Bryant, was a uh, helicopter test pilot during the Vietnam era. Okay. And so he has brought Weblos, which are part of the Boy Scouts, here for years. And when we had the common interest of Sun and Fun, he said, I'd like to bring a little keg of beer. So he did in a garbage can. <laughs> and we just gave it away. Yeah. And people started saying, let us donate. Yeah. So they would donate small increments and it would almost cover our expenses. Well, that was nine, almost 10 years ago. Now we've grown to where we've got, I say, a staff of probably 20, 25 people. We're getting a little distracted by the C-17 out there. Part of the air show. Now we've grown to where we have a staff of probably 25 to 30 people. They're all volunteers. They're all either our friends, family somebody that is in support, but it's always close -knit. It's a close-knit group. Uh, one of our musicians, John Patty, he's a, a, a hand steel player. He volunteers this time for a nominal fee. Uh, Brian Miller, he sings as well. He's a steerman owner. So we've got a lot of people that step up and volunteer to make this what it is tonight, or today and tonight. And what it is today is a place where people get together Enjoy a little shade during the day and an adult beverage at night after the air show. 
There's good live music each night, tasty food, and really the only mystery in my mind is why more people are not showing up here. You may want to put this on your list for Sun and Fun 2022 if you're back in Lakeland. A little white tank top Put on your blue bikini bottom A little white tank top Well, Tim, I thank you for doing that and thank you to all the volunteers that help and the people that, that uh, contribute. Certainly. It's a pleasure talking with you. It's a pleasure talking to you. Please come out and see us. Uh, yeah. How we do our thing is by everybody else doing theirs and coming and enjoying what we can provide for you. If you visit Sun and Fun next year, Stop right here, you won't regret it. We'll be here. I said, Meet me on the foredeck because tonight we're gonna rock. Oh, a little sunny gym music oh. right there. I went back to Coconut Flyer several times during the week, and it was always a lot of fun. And just like the Sun and Fun organizers recognize how much this place adds to the experience in Lakeland. I hope that one day EAA too will stop fighting the beer tent in Oshkosh and instead realize just how much it complements the experience at AirVenture for many of their attendees. Thank you for watching today and if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe here on YouTube. In the next video I'll take you through the exhibit hangers and we'll look at what the vendors were showing off and what they thought about the show in 2021 compared with past years. A special thank you to my supporters on Patreon who helped make these videos possible. See you all soon in the next video.